Now a story you'll see only on News 5. A woman held at gunpoint and kidnapped by an ex-boyfriend talks exclusively to News 5. It happened earlier this week, and she survived by jumping out of a moving car. Today, she sat down with News 5's Alan Carter, who has her story. Brandy Mason went through a type of horror early Wednesday morning no one should ever endure. He stuck his hand in because I had my window down, and he opened the door, and then he pulled his gun out. She says she was sitting in her car before work when her ex-boyfriend walked up with the gun. And he started telling me that he was done playing with me and everything and that he was going to be the last thing I seen and today was going to be the day that I died. And then he told me to get in his car, but I refused to. So he started choking me. So at that point, I agreed to get in his car. They only drove around for about five minutes, but that was five minutes of threats and fear until the first opportunity presented itself. I just kind of opened the door and rolled out the car. Mason escaped with bumps and bruises. He drove away. Then Thursday, police arrested her ex, Richard Batty. You kidnapped? No. Your baby mom? No. The two have been on again, off again for four years and have a three-month-old son together. And as bad as this incident was, she says it wasn't the worst. He's held me at gunpoint before, a knife, and he's choked me while I was pregnant, and it had gotten bad a lot of times. Given all of that, she says seeing him in handcuffs was still hard to watch. I'm so indifferent still in everything. Like, I feel there should be consequences for the choices he made. But I also don't feel like he just spent the rest of his life in prison. And he's got a good heart. He loves everybody. It's just he got to a bad place. And when you consider that statement with the accused actions, that might not all add up. And Mason says she understands that, but wanted to share her experience for others in abusive relationships. Batty remains in jail tonight, facing seven charges, including kidnapping, possession of a controlled substance, and two counts of domestic violence. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alan Carter, News 5.